last day of the uh, feature film, The Afflicted. Uh, this story is inspired by true events. This lady that pretty much beat and killed all of her children, uh, made her sons and family dispose of the bodies and believed that she did it in the name of God and uh, thought that it was demons that possessed most of her daughters so she would knock them off and burn them in boxes. <laughs> This was started off as just an independent film with actors that were local and nearby and people who wanted to produce a film together and next thing you know we have you know unbelievable talent like Leslie Easterbrook, Kane Hodder. It's not a huge crew and it's not a huge movie but sometimes those are more fun to work on because you get to know everybody really well and they've gotten a very good crew together, a very good cast and it's gonna look like a lot more money was spent than it really was. I love the story. All the characters are so intricate and the, the abuse and the psychology behind the kids staying with the mother. The fact that it's based on a true story was something that definitely got my interest right away. I'm so excited to see the final product. I think it's gonna be really stellar. The mom's quite crazy, basically, and she's sort of twisted. And it's a story of these children's hardships through this really twisted abuse. Bill, Bill, take her down to the basement. It's cold down there. Give her fresh. I play such a, such a dark character, and the thing I like the best about the character is that um, she's complicated. I mean, she probably does love her children, and she was quite a good mother at one time. Maybe not the most stable, but I got to do it like a crazy woman. A lot of people will be disturbed with the content. <laughs> the fact that it's being done away from, you know, the studios and it's totally independent. This is like really low key, but we're still getting a high quality product. There's a new age of filmmaking or movie making coming along and this is sort of, you know, the foundation in South Carolina of how things should be done. And of course, the fact that you have these actors that are like horror movie legends, like Kane Hodder, Wesley Easterbrook, you know what I mean? It's a pretty big deal, so it kind of adds to the whole vibe of the scene. It's spouting off in here. This is not a Hollywood produced film. This is a lot of people from South Carolina, a lot of good talent that have come together and um, decided, let's make this thing happen. It's still been a lot of work, but uh, you know, it's all coming together. It's one of those films that you go and see that definitely leaves a mark where, where you kind of walk away not the same. I am twisted in the head and I like putting it on paper and to make it come true, it's, it's just been great.